Alaska is known for many things, right? It's natural beauty, a very famous dog race, it's crazy weather, and of course it's wildlife. But it isn't all salmon, halibut, and wild game in Alaska. No, no, no. They're known for something a little more monstrous too. Welcome to Cooking the States, where we cook a famous dish from a different state every episode in an attempt to discover the true identity of American food. Yes, today we are paying homage to the last frontier by preparing a whole live king crab from scratch. And to do so, we are going to take a field trip to my buddy Jason's kitchen to utilize his professional setup and also just, you know, share the crabby love. This is a big boy. Yo, we're outside. Hey! What up, bro? My friend Jason currently runs a catering business out of a cloud kitchen and was nice enough to let me store the crab in his giant walk-in fridge. It's a big boy. We are here in Jason's kitchen. This is Jason. How you doing? This is a king crab. Uh, or at least I hope it's a king crab. Oh, sorry. Sorry, little guy. Or big guy. Whoa. Bonjour. You gotta rub him on the head and chill his mouth. Yeah, dude. But I think he's frozen. I think so, too. Crab is delicious, but it does come at a price. These animals are caught using baited steel traps during a short fishing season that's heavily regulated by the Alaskan government. They aren't too hard to find frozen, but if you want something fresh, you'll have to know where to look. Also guys, if you're looking to buy one of these crabs yourself, check out Regalis. They sent this over to me, always premium, high quality stuff. Tell them I sent you, go check them out, regalis.com. I'll put more stuff in the description if, in case you want to purchase a crab from them. To swiftly and humanely dispatch the crab, use a sharp knife to stab down through its head, then follow through in a downward motion. Just a warning, this part can be pretty wet, so do it over a towel if you're at home. For the legs, use the tip of the knife to cut at the base, then crack each leg off. All right, so to cook these legs, I guess you can think of this as dividing it into two parts. All right, we're gonna do the legs and then we're gonna do the head. For the legs, we're just gonna take this perforated pan here. We're gonna throw some aromatics in the water and steam it. Then we'll just uh, we'll get her done. We added some lemon and onion to the hotel pan before adding in water. And uh, honestly, if, if you don't have one of these at the crib, a huge stock pot works too. Yeah. Yeah. These legs do not need much time in the steam. I'm talking 15 to 20 minutes for this entire thing. While those legs steamed, we cleaned up the head, plucked its meat, then wiped out the shell to use for our final dish. So Jason so painstakingly collected all of the white meat that was left in the actual uh, head and mixed it with the, what do you call that? The brain. The, what is it though? The Kanye miso. The Kanye miso. Kanye West miso. <laughs> Which is like the Japanese way of saying crab brain, and it sounds weird, but it is delish, so. We'll do that later. About 15 minutes later and... The crab is finished cooking when the shell is bright red and the meat is vibrant white. I'm gonna show you how to take the meat out of the king crab now. Just grab your scissors. <laughs> now, when you're picking your leg, you want the big, juicy, thick boy. Uh, so whichever one you think that is, grab it. Grab it. If you have a fork at home, it's super easy to use one of those. They also, a lot of spots will have these like little crab claw crackers. Okay. We'll put a picture here. But these things, these little these little spikes here, will cut you. This crab is dead, but it will hurt you. The meat is gonna be all up in this, and you can even see it from here. So basically what I like to do is use some paper towel as to not cut your hands open. Um, and I just like to remove the knuckle, this part right here, just by hyper extending it. And that right here is the knock if you buck. And there's a lot of good meat in that piece there. And you can just hyper extend that part. A lot of the times you can pull all that meat out like that. You can also use kitchen scissors. Just cut up the shell of the crab and then carefully remove the meat with your fingers. We cut the large pieces of the meat into manageable chunks, then collected and shredded the other off bits. And now, this crab is the epitome of freshness, therefore I didn't want to do too much with it. The crab's flavor can speak for itself. We decided to make a crab salad, and to go with it, some tartar sauce and drawn butter. The tartar sauce is really just an extra tangy mayonnaise with a few things added to it to bolster flavor. 
Add one egg and two yolks to the processor with some mustard, specifically Dijon. Then acid in the form of Champagne Vin. Then blitz it all up until smooth and begin streaming in the oil until the desired consistency is achieved. From there, it's as simple as tossing in some finely diced shallot, pickle parsley, then finishing with some salt and black pep. We also made some lemon crowns because crab. Then we melted and strained off some butter to make the drawn butter, aka clarified butter. We seasoned the shredded crab component of the salad with that drawn butter, parsley, lemon juice, and salt, then set it inside the cleaned crab head shell, which had a gorgeous natural purple-blue coloring to it, because, you know, Mother Nature's tight like that. We hit the larger, intact crab meat with, you guessed it, a little more drawn butter and salt, then piled it high on top the shredded meat for the drama. Serve with an order of crispy french fries, the tartar sauce, drawn butter, and you are G to G. Alright, check this out. We presented this crab sally in this crab head. I think the common um, Alaskan traditional way to eat crab is with uh, your paws. And I just made your that bangers. up. bangers. Look at this meat, dude. It's like separated in the... Are you going drawn butter uh, or tartar? I'm gonna hit with that butt. A little bit of butt? Mmm. Dude. That's sweet. That's so sweet. Mmm. The sweetness from the crab helps to balance the bitterness from the olive oil in the tartar. Mm -hmm. Like really well. It's pretty good. Thanks for uh, thanks for cooking this beast with me, dude. Then shout out to all our Alaskan compadres up north. I'm very grateful that this creature is such a part of your culture because it is damn delicious. Shouts Alaska. Gosh bless America. I hope this video inspired you to invest in your own royal crustacean, or at least, you know, get out there and experiment or go and try some king crab if you haven't already. And next on Cooking the States in alphabetical order, we are heading down southwest to Arizona. I have something very special planned for you. It's real nice, so uh, keep your head on a swivel for that. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, join the team. I got an Instagram, I got a TikTok, follow me over there for short form content, and I shall see you guys next time. Toodaloo.